why I hate Michael Gove. In this regular series, I'm looking into why I personally find Michael Gove to be one of the most repugnant Tories ever. Today, we're going to look at his drug-taking confession in 2019 and the hypocrisy surrounding it. Well, the crime that you committed, the maximum sentence for that is seven years in prison and or an unlimited fine. And again, right now, there are people who did what you did who are in prison. And there are lots of uh, kids, basically, who supplied cocaine to people like yourself who have either been stabbed or are in de uh, dead. Cressida Dick, who's head of the Met, said that people like yourself who've used cocaine on social occasions and middle-class parties have blood on their hands. How will he answer? First, let's have a quick rundown of what we've covered so far. He's obfuscation. The key thing about levelling up is that it's about more than one ingredient. So uh, transport matters, infrastructure matters. Uh, but within that, it's also the case that links within and between northern and midland cities matter. And more than just infrastructure, levelling up involves research and development spending. Spend then there's spend this, an unearthed disgusting recording of a speech he gave when Gove was in his 20s, given to the Cambridge Union. We are at last experiencing a new empire. An empire with a happy south steps over the cruel, dirty, toothless face of the northerner. Then there's his involvement with Tory peer Michelle Moan and dodgy PPE requirement. Talk to me about Michelle Moan. Uh, what do you remember about the PPE contract with uh, Michelle Moan when she approached you? How did that conversation go? No? Well, lots of people approached me. Um, but, um, and Personal a, email? Uh, yeah, there were lots of people who approached me, whether it was through email, text, um, or, uh, or uh, 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 in the precincts of the House of Commons or wherever. General snakiness. Mm, by his own volition. His, own, it, his own decision. Is so it, we now have a decision to make as Prime members Minister of the House of Commons. My own view is I'm grateful to the committee. Mm -hmm. I think their work is good, but I don't point. agree but with what the conclusion. People will want to know. And here we are with Gove on the ropes when it was revealed he took drugs back when he was a journalist. It was, yes, it was a crime. It was a mistake. I deeply regret it. Should you have gone to prison? Um, well, I was, I was fortunate in that I didn't, but I do think that it was a profound mistake, and I've seen the damage that drugs do. Um, I've seen it close up, and I've also seen it in the work that I've done as a politician, mm -hmm. and that's why I deeply regret uh, the mistake that I made. What a load of crap. He only regrets that he got outed for doing it. How many times did you take cocaine? I took it several occasions, um, uh, on social occasions, more than 20 years ago, when I was working as a journalist. Was it a habit? No, I don't believe it was. It was a mistake, and it was a mistake that I deeply regret. Huh. So, there's no proof, but what do you think? Has he taken drugs recently? And do you really believe he does regret it? I do have a profound sense of um, uh, regret about it all, and I am very, very aware of the damage that drugs do. Um, as you know, Andrew, I was Justice Secretary. Um, during that time, one of the things I said is that people should never be defined by the worst decision that they made. People should be given a chance to redeem themselves and to change. And I introduced um, efforts uh, to have problem-solving courts so that individuals who uh, may have uh, uh, used drugs had the opportunity to change their lives, to make a contribution. And I'm very, very conscious of the fact that the mistake that I made is not a mistake I would want anyone else to make. These words are so empty. But now for the big question. Well, the crime that you committed, the maximum sentence for that is seven years in prison and or an unlimited fine. And again, right now, there are people who did what you did who are in prison. And there are lots of uh, kids, basically, who supplied cocaine to people like yourself who have either been stabbed or are in de uh, dead. Cressida Dick, who's head of the Met, said that people like yourself who've used cocaine on social occasions and middle-class parties have blood on their hands. So how will Gove answer this question? Will he show any real contrition? Let's see. Is she right? Um, I hugely respect Cressida Dick, and one of the things that I would absolutely say is that it is a mistake which I profoundly regret, mm. absolutely. And one of the things that I also completely agree with is that the drug trade is wrong, that drugs wreck lives, and that's one of the reasons why I have sought in office to try to, uh, to help people to move away from that. What are your thoughts? Is Gove a lying, fake, slimy snake or not? Click here for more... I hate Michael Gove.